So as of right now, it's a uh, Saturday, well, Sunday morning, whatever. Just got in from work, um, and I found out UFC 256 was on ESPN. I was, uh, so I started watching it. Got to the Kevin Holland versus um, Jacare Souza fight, and you know I had seen it already. I, I'm. I definitely watched all those fights when it happened, but, you know, watching it back and, you know, paying close attention to it, mainly because there has been no new fights, you know, for a while. So I'm jonesing for fights. So, and I, and at the same time, haven't been watching fights all that much so when I do watch fights now I'm I'm like tuned in which you know it's not much different than it usually is but anyway so I'm watching the fight and well before the fight I'm watching the little preview thing that the UFC does and it was showing when Kevin Holland fought uh, Joaquin Buckley. And it was, I don't know if he said that right before he knocked him out, but they had this little, this little soundbite from uh, Holland when he, you know, because he always talks. So he was talking to Buckley and in this one here, he's like, he rubs his nose and says, he says, get that booger. And walk in Buckley, he, you know, he gets that booger and he says, good man. And then it skips to him knocking Buckley out. I thought that was, I thought it was badass and it was funny at the same time. It was both of those things. I mean, it's, it's just more of a reason to like Kevin Holland. If I, you know, if I didn't like him enough already, which I do, but also... So I'm watching the fight with Jacare, and, you know, it, it was awesome that, you know, Holland knocked him out from off of his back, but, you know, watching it back in more detail, it's, it's not just that Kevin Holland trash talk or he it's not just that he talks while he's fighting guys it's not that he starts talking before the fight even starts it's not just that it's that he i don't i don't know if it's intuitive for him i think the way he does it it seems it's it's pretty much intuitive but it's it's strategic you know Essentially, the when he's talking to dudes, that's a that's another way of using fakes. Like where you have Israel Izzy when he got in, or well, still now he all of almost all of his fakes are with his body, with his movements. You know, he's he's showing you. The leg, he's showing you both legs, making you think left kick, right kick. He's showing you the right hand. He's showing you everything to make you think a certain way, make you react. Make you react the way he wants you to. <clears throat> and then, you know, the openings he'll hit. With Kevin Holland, I mean, he does that too. He's not as refined as Israel. He's not that same kind of striker, but his, when he talks to dudes, that's also his way of using fakes because he, he gets people off of their game. Like he hurt when, um, when Jacare was in, Kev was in Holland's guard. Before, before DC and Rogan react, before they knew that Jacare was hurt, he was actually hurt before then. But it was right when 
it was right after Holland was saying, that's all you got. Those punches are nice, you know. <laughs> Those punches are sweet. Like, they had no effect or whatever. Just, it's to get in his head, obviously. But, uh, it got, you know, it got, he's, he's looking for reactions. He's looking for reactions to his talking. He wants you to react to him talking. Because once you do that, you're off your game. And then he creeps it. He creep. He slides that little right hand in. Boom. So uh, right after he said that, Jacques Ray hit him a couple. He hit him once, maybe twice. And then Holland started talking to him again. And he he started talking to him again. Jacques Ray smiled, laughed. He said, "Okay." And then he. He said some sitting something. I I don't remember exactly. I couldn't hear exactly what he said, but he said some some sentence. Kind of like anyway, it got him off of his game. Got him. He got Jacques Ray thinking about what he's saying and not what he's doing or what or what he wants to do to Holland. And then Holland clips him with the right hand pop, and he heard him then. And then Holland created more space and he heard him some more. So, I mean, the way Holland's power, it's not that he has like super knockout power that's going to, that, that he could just, he can knock anyone out from anywhere. It's that he distracts you and he hits you with that shot you don't see coming. That that shot that always knocks people out is the one they don't see coming. And if they're not, if their mind's not in it, if they're not focused, he distracts you with his talk, with his talking, and pop clips you. That's how he hurts guys. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about that and just that's something. I mean, we've seen that before, you know, Nick, Nick and Nate Diaz, they both do it. They just don't have that, that kind of, they just don't have the kind of power that Holland has. They never did, but they still caught guys when they were talking to them. And the fact Holland has enough power that, he has the kind of power he can knock anybody out within his weight. And when he distracts guys with his talking and he hits them, he's definitely hurting them. And I just wanted to, that's what all this video was about. I just wanted to talk about, you know, how much I like Kevin Holland. That's all I got for this one. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about Kevin Holland. What you think about his performance and you know, his, his 2020 all together. And, um, if you liked this video, hit that like, don't forget to subscribe and, uh, until next time, we'll see you.